everybody, my name is David from Darbus. Today I'm going to show you how to use Wi-Fi Remote uh, Android Studio Control um, and Wi-Fi Debugging. Uh, so uh, let's enable our phone to... Uh, let's you know, enable the developer options on our robot controller phone first. On the left we have uh, our driver station and on the right we have our robot controller. So we're gonna enable the developer options on our robot controller phone. So I'm gonna go into settings, scroll very down to about phone, and then just click five times on this build number. Uh, and then you'll be a developer. Um, and then you're gonna go to settings, uh, developer options, turn that on, and then enable USB debugging. We're switching to make ADB command accessible everywhere on your computer. Uh, I have a Mac today and I have my Android Studio installed uh, so I don't have to install platform tools here. Uh, but I do have to make the command accessible everywhere. Mm, so what I'm going to do is follow the direction here. Uh, I'm going to create a soft link for my ADB executive file. So uh, let me just open a terminal here. Uh, and then let me just do cd to my home folder. Uh, I don't know what just happened. Let's do that again. Okay. Okay, cd home folder. Yep, here we go. Uh, and then and then I'm going to do uh, Android Studio Tools SDK Manager. And then here I'm going to see which directory do I have the Android SDK installed. So I'm just going to cd to that folder. Uh, by the way, cd stands for switch to directory. Just letting you know. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, sorry. I typed the wrong stuff. Library, Android SDK. Okay. Now we're going to list all the files in that directory. We can see that there is a platform tools directory right here. Uh, so we're going to switch our directory to that platform tools. And then uh, we can see like there's an ADB executive here. So let's just switch back to our home folder. Um, and then we're still going to follow the direction. So uh, we're going to do the sudo we're going to make a soft link. Okay, now we're going to change the name of path to platform tools folder to the actual folder we have it. So users, DCAO, library, Android, SDK, and then there we have our platform tools. Uh, so let's try execute it. Execute that code. Uh, I'm going to type in my password here. Uh, it says operation not permitted. So if you have that kind of problem, just follow the next step. So we're going to do just the same command, but change the destination directory to our local bin directory. Okay, local bin. Okay, now if we try to execute the ADB shell, it's going to say like, it's going to actually execute, execute the ADB executive in our Android Studio SDK directory. Okay, so now um, we're going to add some external tools to Android Studio. Um, so let's just follow the directions here. Uh, so you're going to search external tools on the search bar. Uh, and then there we are. It's inside tools, external tools. So now I'm just going to add a few external tools to help me uh, connect to Wi-Fi debugging every time I wanted it. So first one we're going to add is called enable ADB over TCP IP. Uh, and then just leave the description blank. Um, yeah, and then just copy paste everything on this table to, to the prompt that you received from Android Studio. So I've added one. OK, 
Okay, just hit apply and then hit OK. Um, and now I'm finished step 1.4, 1.3. Uh, now we're going to step 1.4. Okay, so, so now we are at uh, step 1.4. We're going to connect our robot controller phone with a standard USB to USB micro B um, wire. So uh, I'm just going to connect them and then um, open up Android Studio uh, and then open up the FTC SDK project. If you, if, if you have your robot controller app installed on your phone, uh, you don't have to click on this green button. But since I don't have it, I'm just going to click on this green button to write that program into that phone. Okay, so uh, you want to allow every uh, every permission it wants. Okay, so here we're gonna click on uh, more, and then we're gonna go to program and manage, and then just connect your computer to its Wi-Fi Direct channel as indicated. There we are. Now we are connected to our phone's uh, Wi-Fi Direct network. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to enable, go to Tools, External Tools, and then enable ADB over TCP IP. And if it shows like process finish with execute zero, it shows like it's successful. Otherwise, it's not. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is connect to RC over TCP IP. Okay, there, uh, here I'm going to unplug my USB wire because the Wi-Fi debugging is, is set up already. Um, so I'm going to click on this green arrow again to see if my Wi-Fi debugging is actually successful. There, uh, it reinstalled the app. Um, so it shows that the Wi-Fi wi -Fi debugging is successful. And that's the end of our tutorial today. David, thank you for viewing this video. Uh, please subscribe or like this video if you liked my tutorial. Uh, or just give me a thumbs down. Or just comment in the video below if you don't like this video. Uh, thank you for all of your support. Uh, in the next series, we'll have our robot controller screen streaming tutorial.